hello guys welcome to the next video tutorial on android app development for beginners and in this video we will see how to use images in your android activity and also we are going to make a cool app uh, to change image, images on button click so let's get started first of all we are going to add some images to our app so go to your uh, project and search for the folder called app and inside this folder you will be able to see this folder called res or resources folder and inside this resources folder there will be a folder called drawable so all your images you uh, want to uh, you know keep inside this drawable folder so this is the folder for keeping all your uh, image resources so go to this drawable folder right click on this drawable folder and go to new and click the option called image asset okay so click the option called image asset and in here you can add four type of uh, image or whatever image you uh, choose it will be converted into four types one is HDPI which is high DPI second is medium DPI or MDPI third is XDPI or H, uh, X, HDPI which is extra high DPI and uh, XX, XX HDPI so high quality DPI this is also so I'm just going to click OK just choose one of them uh, it doesn't matter which one you choose because whatever image you will choose it will be converted into all these uh, formats right so just click OK and in here you will see uh, there is a PNG a default PNG file already provided by our project and in here now we want to add our new files so I have uh, two uh, Android icons here in my folder. You can find the uh, Android icons easily on internet or uh, on some sites. So uh, download uh, these uh, icons from here. These are uh, PNG images in my case, but uh, they can be different. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give my resource name first. So for example, uh, AND underscore image one so uh, this is the resource name you need to give uh, for your image okay and uh, asset type is launcher icon and in here uh, in the image file you just need to give the path of your image okay so for example my image path for this is I will just copy the path here and paste it here and then I can see my folder and in here I can choose my PNG file one is PNG file and other is JPG file so I'm going to take both of the files and show you uh, that both of them works so first of all I will uh, choose this Android one JPG file from here and then this file will be converted into these four formats right and then I will click next and all these options are okay and I will click finish and once you click finish you will be able to see there are four type of images generated which is HDPI, MDPI, XHDPI and XXHDPI four types of images inside your uh, drawable folder these four types of images are generated because uh, you know your app will be able to uh, resize these images on the basis of the phone uh, size right that's why it has generated these four type of images i am going to add one more resource in the same way click next and finish so now I have added two images inside my drawable folder right 
Now in order to add these images to your Android activity there is a widget called image view so you can drag and drop this widget here and in here you can uh, resize this uh, widget also but first of all what we are going to do is we are going to uh, add some resource to this widget so just double click this widget and then in the source you just uh, need to choose your source so just click this small button uh, at the side of this uh, source and in here you will be able to see at the bottom your two images a and d uh, image one and a and d image two okay so i'm going to choose the first image and click ok and now you will be able to see the, your image here what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a button here okay and i'm going to uh, change this button uh, name as switch image so I'm going to use this for switching image switch image okay now you can notice that the size of this image is not uh, you know uh, fitting to your Android activity so you can drag the the side of your image and resize it like this okay and it will be resized but uh, by resizing this image view uh, you will also notice that this uh, size of this image stays the same which is small size right now in order to stretch your image according to the size of this image view what you can do is there is a property here in your property so select your image view here and search for the property called scale type and in the properties there will be a property called scale type in here and uh, by default this will be center uh, you know scale type so when you click this uh, section here in front of the scale type property you will be able to change your uh, you know scale type so i'm going to choose fit center and it's going to get a little bit bigger uh, according to the center right and you can choose uh, other properties of scale type to fit your requirement for us uh, fit center is okay for now okay so now uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a click event to this button and we are going to uh, choose the second image using uh, this button so we are going to uh, make an app whenever users click this button is going to change this images again and again and again okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my uh, main activity.java file so just click this file and in here first of all we are going to uh, declare our two uh, image view and button variables right so now we have uh, declared our two variables and now we are going to create a method which we are going to call in our on create method so let's create a method public void button click method for example and inside this first of all we are going to cast these two variables one is for image and we will uh, assign the id of the widgets to them so now we have casted our uh, variables and now we are going to take this button submit 
and we are going to set our on click method to it so button some submit dot set on click listener and inside this on click listener we are going to call a new on click listener now inside this on click method what we are going to do is first of all uh, let's declare two more variables at the top and these variables will be one for uh, current image index so this will be private int current image index and second we are going to declare an int array for the images so images is equal to and we are going to initialize this array by the images themselves so we are going to find the id of these images these images uh, are in the drawable folder you can see here so we can just find the, them by r dot drawable dot now the name of this so my first image name is and image one in a same way you can uh, find second image so so i'm going to add this third image called ic underscore launcher which was already present so r dot drawable dot ic underscore launcher okay so now we have array of three images in this image uh, variable right so now in our on click method what we are going to do is first of all we are going to increase the index of this current image so current image plus plus and then uh, this current image uh, will be we are going to assign it to the current image modulus the length of your length of your uh, image array so we are going to take this images variable dot length okay so now what we are going to do is on the basis of this index we can uh, you know call this index which will indicate this uh, these uh, images one by one right so what i'm going to do is in this image view variable i'm going to set the image so image view dot set and i'm going to set the image and this will be the image resource so set image resource and then we are going to take this array of image and then we are going to call these images on the basis of index and index uh, is this one right so now uh, our code is ready one uh, more thing we need to do is we need to call this uh, button click event inside our on create method right now uh, we are ready so we are going to run our app so now our app is running and you can see this image on our activity and let's uh, click this button and let's see what happens while click clicking this button so i'm going to click this button and the image changes once again i'm going to click this button and the image changes so every time you click this button this index changes in the image array and we can see new array or if you want to just set one image what you can do is instead of uh, writing this code and in here you can directly call your r dot drawable dot whatever image name you have inside here okay and this will just call your one image and it will not switch your images one by one by one okay so this is direct calling of image using this uh, set image resources. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.